Yo, what's going on guys? It's time for another reaction video. And today we're gonna to be checking out Jamaica from the YouTube channel, Before You Go. Uh, 14 awesome places to visit in Jamaica and things to do. Let's get into it. Whether you're looking to relax on the beach, explore the island's rich history and culture, or indulge in adventure sports, the Caribbean island paradise of Jamaica has something for everyone. Here are the best things to do and places to visit in Jamaica. Number 14, Blue and John Crow Mountains National Park. The Blue and John Crow Mountains National Park in Jamaica is a true natural and cultural treasure. Inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2015, this park offers a wealth of breathtaking scenery, from jungle-clad mountains and waterfalls to lush rainforests and coffee plantations. The park is also home to an impressive array of wildlife, including over 800 species of endemic plants, 200 species of birds, and even the world's second largest butterfly. A highlight of a visit to the park is hiking or taking a mule ride up to the summit of Jamaica's highest peak, Blue Mountain Peak. At 7,400 feet high, the summit offers thrilling views, including a glimpse of neighboring Cuba on a clear day. Number oh, that's cool that you can see Cuba from there. Um, I've been to Jamaica twice, both times were when I was uh, on a cruise. And so when you're doing the excursions, unfortunately, it seems like you're kind of limited to the things that you can do within like six to eight hours. So I don't recall seeing anything like this where I would be able to go visit that. But maybe if I actually go to Jamaica for... A more prolonged trip like for a year a week or something then that might be worth checking out let's see what negril is all about for 13 negril negril is a town located in western jamaica that is home to one of the caribbean's most beautiful stretches of white sand and crystal clear water negril beach dubbed as the seven mile beach but actually closer to four miles long the beach extends from bloody bay to long bay and is backed by the famous negril cliffs the beach is lined with a variety of resorts from large all-inclusive properties to smaller boutique hotels. I think I might have actually gone there on the first time I went to Jamaica. And offers a wide range of water sports including snorkeling, kayaking, and diving. The Negril Cliffs rising above the clear blue waters is the perfect spot to watch the sunset and for those looking for an adrenaline rush can consider jumping off the cliffs for fun. Number 12, Dunn's River Falls. So this is, uh, I went here last year in April. Um, it's been well over a year since I, I visited and I still have not yet finished editing my video from my visit. So maybe hopefully soon that'll come. Um, whenever I do finish that, I'll try to remember to come back to this video and put a link to it. But uh, this was a really amazing experience. I enjoyed it a lot. Dunn's River Falls, located in Ocho Rios, is a natural wonder that stands at 180 feet tall and 600 feet long. You can climb up the limestone edges of the waterfall as the cool water provides a refreshing contrast to the typical heat of Jamaica. The water cascades into the sea at Little Dunn's River Beach, making it one of the few Traverton waterfalls in the world. The falls are one of the most popular tourist attractions in Jamaica, and with its Instagram-worthy terraced waterfalls, it's no wonder millions of tourists hike 90 minutes to see it every year. If you get the opportunity to visit, if it's like a destination, if it's an excursion on a cruise, or if you're staying at a resort and it's something you have an option of doing, it is fun. It's refreshing because even though you're kind of hiking up 600 feet, you're constantly in the cool water uh, and then the the guides um, tell you stuff along the way and they make it a fun experience so it's worth checking out it's also immortalized on the Jamaican $100 bill number 11 reach Falls if you prefer a less touristy waterfall then this is for you reach Falls located near Port Antonio is a hidden gem among the island's many waterfalls tucked away in the montane forest of the John Crow mountain range visitors can take a gentle hike through the tropical rainforest to reach the falls. The falls themselves flow gently and quietly, cascading down to the underwater caves. You can stand under the streaming cascades, explore the caves, and swim in the fern-fringed waters surrounded by rainforest. With really more than pretty. 20 different species of ferns growing in this area, and a variety of birds, including yellow-billed parrots, it's a great spot for nature lovers. Number 10, Doctor's Cave Beach. Doctor's Cave Beach in Montego Bay is a popular strip of white sand fringed by clear waters. The beach got its name in the early 1920s when a British osteopath claimed that the water had curative powers after swimming there. This claim helped shape the fate of Montego Bay as a tourist destination. So I was wrong earlier when I said I thought I visited that beach. It was actually this beach I believe that I visited. 
as hotels sprouted up and the area became a thriving tourist destination. Even though the namesake cave was destroyed by a hurricane in 1932, the beach is still as popular as ever and is considered one of the top things to do in Montego Bay. Number 9. Martha Bray River Rafting on the Martha Bray River in Jamaica is a popular activity, especially for couples. The Martha Bray River's village offers bamboo raft trips pulled by local guides. You can glide down the picturesque stretch of river enjoying the tropical scenery and stop at local vendors along the way to purchase souvenirs or refreshments. So question for anybody who knows the answer, whether you're a local or somebody who's been on this experience. I was watching and doing a reaction to another Jamaica video a couple days ago and it looked like the similar location but there were like uh, crocodiles in there not necessarily alligators but crocodiles um is that something you would have to be concerned about because to me it'd be kind of scary to be on one of those little bamboo rafts and roll up on some crocodiles doesn't seem very safe but maybe there's none in this water i don't know tell me tell me if you have any uh any insight any any insight on that the tropical scenery and stop at local vendors along the way to purchase souvenirs or refreshments. The guides entertain visitors during the trip, singing reggae songs or sharing interesting information about the flora and fauna. It's also a great place for a romantic day out, with the chance to listen to local tales and legends, sip on cold drinks, and stroll through Miss Martha's herb garden. Number eight. It definitely looks, you know, like a nice relaxing experience, and it, uh, maybe maybe I'm I'm overthinking it with the crocodile thoughts, but. I, that's the first thing that, that comes to mind when I saw it. Let's see what Black River Tour is all about. Black River Tour. The longest river in Jamaica, the Black River, is fringed with mangroves and home to over 100 species of birds, including herons and snowy egrets, as well as crocodiles. Oh, there the we go. A guided boat tour is the perfect way to explore this tranquil river. So maybe the other one doesn't have the crocodiles. That's why they can do the bamboo floats. This one obviously does have crocodiles, which is why you're inside of a real boat. Well, it's crocodiles. A guided boat tour is the perfect way to explore this tranquil river and learn about the area's ecology and history. The tour is often combined with a visit to the beautiful YS Falls, Jamaica's largest cascades, with seven waterfalls, natural pools, and activities like zip lining, rope swinging, and river tubing. The YS Falls offers something for everyone. That perfect for a hot day. The YS Falls are also suitable for children. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number seven, Blue Hole. The Blue Hole, also known as the Blue Lagoon, is a series of picturesque water holes wow. located in the rainforest cloaked mountains outside Ocho Rios. It is fed by gushing cascades and guides can lead you around the area where you- Now I think this was another option when I was on the cruise that this is something I could have done because Ojo Rios is uh, one of the the uh, ports that you come in. So like when I went the first time we went through the Montego Bay port, the second time we were supposed to go through the Ojo Rios port and then it got changed to Falmouth. Um, but even though we came in on Falmouth, I think we ended up driving to Ocho Rios. I can't remember. It's all starting to kind of blur together. But uh, I think that this was an option. So maybe I'll have to check this out on the next cruise. You can explore the falls and jump off cliffs into the refreshing pools below. The higher up the falls you climb, the less people you will probably encounter. But the trail can be tricky to navigate. The water color of the blue hole changes depending on how the sun hits the water and can be seen in sapphire, royal blue, or turquoise color. That's it is cool. also known for its unique natural phenomenon as it is formed by the mixture of fresh water from mineral springs and salt water from the Caribbean Sea. Number 6. Falmouth. Falmouth is a picturesque town located on the northern shore of Jamaica. I've only gone in on two different ports so far from the cruises. Falmouth was definitely a million times nicer than um, Montego Bay. This, this is a really, really nice port. Falmouth. Falmouth is a picturesque town located on the northern shore of Jamaica, known for its well-preserved Georgian architecture. The town was once a leading port in the Caribbean and it still offers excellent examples of 19th century Georgian architecture, including a restored courthouse. Visitors can explore the Greenwood Great House, a museum with period furniture and a rare collection of musical instruments and Wedgwood China. Other popular activities in Falmouth include visiting the Good Hope Plantation, an old established coconut and sugar plantation, basking on Red Stripe and Burwood Beach, and taking a trip to the Luminous Lagoon, named cool. for its marine phosphorescence. 
there is also a heritage walk to discover the history of the town, especially the slave trade hubs. Number 5. Port Antonio Port Antonio is a charming and peaceful fishing village on the northeastern coast of Jamaica. Known for its quiet atmosphere, it's the perfect spot for visitors looking to escape the hustle and bustle of more crowded tourist destinations. The village itself is a mix of colorful markets, Georgian and Victorian architecture, and cozy cafes. But it's the incredible natural surroundings that really make Port Antonio special. Visitors can explore the area's sensational jungles, crystal clear waterfalls, turquoise lagoons, beautiful beaches, and epic hiking trails. Other popular activities include rafting the Rio Grande, diving and snorkeling the coral reefs, and swimming in the Blue Lagoon, which is said to be 200 feet deep wow. and was featured in the movie of the same name. Number 4. Rose Hall Great House Rose Hall Great House is a must-see destination in Jamaica. Built in 1770, the restored wow. plantation house offers breathtaking ocean views and a glimpse into the past with its pure... I was about to say it's amazing something from 1770 would survive being that it's a small island and there's so much salt, but if you look at the base of the house, it looks like it's all stone and, and uh, uh, well, stone, stone and brick or whatever. Uh, so that's going to hold up to the elements better. Restored plantation house offers breathtaking ocean views and a glimpse into the past with its period furniture. But the real draw of Rose Hall is its eerie history. Legend has it that the notorious Annie Palmer, known as the White Witch, ruled the house with cruelty and met a violent death. Visitors can choose from a daytime tour to learn about the history of the house or a spooky evening tour by candlelight to hear tales of ghost sightings and possibly even spot the White Witch herself. If ghost uh, stuff is your thing, you might want to go check out my other YouTube channel, Ghost Texas. Give it a quick plug since they're talking about paranormal stuff here. And I'll be sure to uh, link that uh, above. Number three, Rainforest Adventures Mystic Mountain. Rainforest Adventures Mystic Mountain in Ocho Rios is an adrenaline junkie's paradise. Get your heart racing on the Bobsled Jamaica, a single person roller coaster ride that speeds through the forest. For a more leisurely experience, glide through the treetops on the zip lines or take the Sky Explorer. A if you've done this, let me know if it's worth it. It was, uh, it was another option when I was on the cruise. This was like all as a bundle. Um, is this fun? Is it, is it, uh, or are you only getting to go on each thing once and then it goes fast and you're just getting pushed through it kind of a deal. Let me know if you have uh, any, uh, any feedback on this particular location. Chairlift that ascends the mountain, offering panoramic views of the town and sea. But it's not all thrills and spills. Nature lovers can also enjoy guided walks, butterfly and hummingbird gardens, a ropes course, an infinity pool and water slide, and a climbing wall. Number two, Bob Marley Museum. If you're a fan of Bob Marley, the Bob Marley Museum in Kingston is a must-see destination on your vacation in Jamaica. The museum is located in the former home and studio of the legendary reggae artist who purchased the property on 56 Hope Road in 1975. And I didn't know it was his former residence. That's really cool. And lived there until his death in 1981. Visitors can explore the beautifully hand-painted murals and statue of Bob, view his personal treasures such as platinum and gold records and awards, and take a tour of his old room, which has been left untouched since the day he left it. The museum also features a stunning photo gallery and offers a one-hour tour. It is one of the best places to visit in Jamaica while on vacation. Number 1. Kingston Kingston Jamaica's bustling capital city is a melting pot of culture and history. Located at the foot of the Blue Mountains, it offers a cosmopolitan contrast to the island's laid-back vibe. While the city can be gritty and rough around the edges, there's plenty to see and do for visitors. Besides the above-mentioned Bob Marley Museum, reggae fans can also visit the Trenchtown Culture Yard Museum, where reggae music was born. Visitors can also check out historic mansions like Devon House and museums such as the National Gallery and the Natural History Museum. Emancipation Park is a popular spot for music concerts and National Heroes Park features statues of leading players in Jamaican history and independence. Click here for more places to visit in the Caribbean. Cool video, man. Uh, this is making me want to take another vacation and likely not going to get to do one this year. It'll have to roll over to perhaps next year. But um, if you've ever had the chance to visit Jamaica, what are some of the places you loved to uh to go, what, what are some of the experiences you loved while you were there? Uh, if you've never been to Jamaica, is it on your bucket list? And if it's not, then 
tell me some places that you've traveled to that you, you know, you really remember a lot and meant a lot to you and, and kind of have left a lasting memory for you. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe, click the bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Later. Thank you.